Everybody have fun tonight. Everybody Wang Chung tonight. We're gonna go over polynomials. Let's get to it! Okay, we are going to go over some polynomial equations and whatnot, whatnot. Let's start out with exponents and exponential rules. Rules of exponents. Okay, these are some things that people have some struggles with. So, uh, you know, Miss Thompson's always going to be a little bit long in the tooth, but that's what we need. I think I need a little extra light. We're going to have to edit this out because I'm turning the light on. Oh no, though, that's gonna be a problematic. Okay, keep listening, talk amongst yourselves. I'm getting a little bit clumped. Okay, so, exponential rules. Exponential rules. Okay, there's some simple rules, and I wanna, I'll give examples uh, of different versions of different rules. This is example one, two, um, example, we'll get a little harder. Let's do example three is going to look like this. Example four will be, I did that earlier today. Um, and then we'll do a combo. Okay, these are all different versions of little exponential things. Okay, when you have, so it's important to know always order of operation. Okay, and Miss Thompson's going to do you a huge solid right here. Order implies that it's it's um, something impressed upon the operation. There is one operation. It's adding. Um, okay. So what we really should say is the power of the operation. And you're welcome, math teachers everywhere, because I just changed the game. Okay. Order is dumb. There's one operation. It's adding. Okay? Now, adding, subtracting are the same thing. They are a, they are a package deal. Okay? They're like, the, they're like, you know, they're like the boyfriend, girlfriend, married couple that you know, right? They're together. Okay? You can't invite one without inviting the other. They're both there. The next power is batched adding. So, it is... Multiply, divide, okay? So if adding, subtracting is a kid and his girlfriend, multiply, divide are the parents with a bunch of kids with a bunch of girlfriends and boyfriends. <laughs> and you invited them to your Christmas party. What were you thinking? Okay? And then, I shouldn't have a multiplication here. That's a problematic. And then you've got exponent and radical which is like the school. So the school invites all the families that have all the kids. Okay? Are you with me? So there's one operation. The operation of like, will you go to prom with me or not? But when you've got the school inviting all the families, inviting all the kids, it gets very complicated. Okay? So we need to know this. This is the backdrop. All right? And these are the will you go to prom with me's. Okay? 
All right, back to exponential rules. So when you're doing exponents and you've got, um, you're doing rules within rules. So you've got, you're, you're multiplying, okay? So I know this is weird, okay? So remember to this, what if you've got a bunch of schools? You've got the whole conference, right? It's the Big Ten, which is really 18 schools. Like, who did that? Um, so here's what happens. Whatever, whatever operation is happening, you do one tier down to the exponents. So since this is multiplication, the tier below multiplication is addition and subtraction. That's what you do to the exponents, x, x to the 6 plus 2, which is x to the 8th. That just happened, okay? This is an exponent to the exponent. So this becomes, because that's over here, exponent, it goes one tier down to multiplication. So now you have y to the 5 times 3, which is y to the 15. Now, this is division, okay? Consider, con, let's just say, okay, this is not, I'm not trying to, this is not a judgment call. Let's say boys are addition, multiplication, and exponents, and girls are subtraction, division, and radicals, okay? So, if this is, again, one tier down, right, of division, but it, you're using the tier below subtraction, okay? So this becomes m to the 12 minus 6, which is m6. Isn't that a mission impossible, m i6? Okay, now, w to the negative 4. Watch my other video. What this does, this is saying, this is saying, um... 1 over w to the 4th, which there's another video. Okay, now we're doing this one. The negative is out here. Always remember, parentheses is like saying you're, 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 you're talking to your friend and you're like, sidebar, did you hear? <laughs> right? Did you, did you hear about Bruno? Um, so this is last. So when it's last and you know that in advance that your negative is going to be last, that means you know your answer is going to be last. Now, like I said, it's a tier below. So this is the multiplication. This ends up being like the distributive property, but the negative is last. So it stays in the parentheses and you get three. It's not actually a negative number yet. I cannot express that enough. But the four goes here times x to the fourth, okay? And then if you wanted, we're gonna leave our clutter. You would get negative, okay, for the record, three to the fourth. Three to the fourth is nine squared, which is 81. We'll go over things that you can do quickly another day. Math in your head is amazing, okay? So those are the rules. So keep that, that power, that uh, long and true. There is one operation, it's adding. Everything is counting by ones. Batched counting is adding or directed counting is adding. So then there's power of operation. I'm changing the game. In the next generation of kids, we're not going to talk about order of operation. We're going to talk about power of operation. Because that's what I feel like talking about. Okay? That's what matters. So let's do one cluttered one. Let's do one really cluttered example. And then we'll call it a day. Uh, okay, here's our example. What is that equal when it's simplify? Simplify. Every teacher will give you, it's either simplify or solve. Simplify or solve, okay? Simplify means that you're going to still have variables. Solve means that you'll have an extra answer. And so you'll notice I have a question mark over here. 
that means simplify. There's no, there's no equal to. There's no or equal to. There's just simplify. So if there's nothing written over here, you can't solve it. All right, that being said, so we have our variables A, B, and C. But we're going to go one at a time. So at simplify means, simplify means, okay, in this context, you have each variable, which we have A, B, C, A, B, C, easy as one, two, three. Each variable is written once. This is also could be called the base. Once, oops, it's still red. Written once, written once um, with a positive exponent. Okay, typically it's with a positive exponent. Sometimes teachers will ask all in the numerator or numberator. Right? Okay, so back to it. Let's do this in blue. Big finish, big finish mathematics. Okay, remember, let's start fresh, okay? These act like the distributive property, okay? So this three is going to A, it's going to B, and it's going to C. So let's do that first. A, what is negative two times three? It's negative six times, this is a phantom one. Okay, we don't write it down. What is one times three? Three. C to the third, what is C to the third times three? What is three times three? Nine. That's the numerator, okay? This is organizing socks, kids, and everybody watching. Maybe you're not a child anymore, and in which case, welcome. I am grateful that you're learning math. You're making the world a better place, so congratulations, really, truly. Okay, so now the same thing in the denominator. Two times a phantom one. Remember, if nothing is written, it's a one. If nothing is written, it's a one. So eight, one times two is two. Four times two is eight, okay? Numberator over denominator. Numberator over denominator. Numerator, denominator, but that's what they really mean. Okay, now, now we want to figure out what's happening individually. So C is easy. We know that C stays in the numerator and it's to the ninth. Okay, but we have to figure out what our B and C, or A and B, excuse me. So let's look at A. We didn't do one of these in our examples yet. So let's do this slowly. A to the negative 6 over A squared. The negative doesn't mean that the A is negative. It means that it changes spots, okay? So it's a red rover, red rover, said A to the 6th right over. So when that goes away, the identity in multiplication is 1. The a to the 6th switches, so the negative becomes positive, and you have a squared. Now we have, remember, this rule where we're just adding them. It's the same number even. a to the 6th, a squared in the denominator, a to the eighth. Now, we're going to sit on that for a second, okay, because we want to know what it means. Let's look at b. Okay. So now we've got b cubed over b to the eighth. Now, remember, the denominator is one degree down so you go down and you're going to subtract. 
b b to the 3 minus 8, which means b to the negative 5, which means we're in the denominator. Mathematics is a language and a code. This is why ciphers are all come from here. And I will do a lesson on ciphers because they're super fun. They're super fun. Okay, I almost said that word. Um, I don't, whoop, cut that out. Okay, now, simplest form, we could put c to the ninth, we could over a to the eighth, b to the fifth. Okay, that would satisfy the rule positive exponents, okay? If your teacher or person that you're is asking you to do this says they want the answer all in the numerator, well, then you're going to end up with negatives, right? And this is the same as a to the negative eighth. So if it's all in the numerator, it would be a to the negative eighth, b to the negative fifth, c to the ninth. But check, because, you know, people are different. All right, you're crushing it. You're crushing it. Keep it up with the polynomials. Poly means many. Nomial name is, is, is the name of the thing, of the term. Terms, okay, just to be clear, in polynomials, we'll talk about this again tomorrow. Polynomials. Many. That's Latin. Nome, name, just like denominator, okay? So the nomial, the name, these are mathematical forms that are connected through addition, or excuse me, through multiplication division or exponent radical. Okay, really all that. Radicals, we're not going to deal with that right now. Many is addition, subtraction. Okay? So a singular nomial is connected through multiplication division. Like 3x squared, right? But a polynomial, that's what all these are. All these up here are nomials. These are all nomials. Nomials, nomials, nomials. Nomials. Monomial. Mono means one. Mono, one. Okay? So monomial, these are all, all of these are monomials. Polynomials are that way. So you could have like, if I said this is 3x, you could have like 2x plus 3x squared. And that's what we were talking about when we talked about quadratics. Okay, till next time, thanks for playing. That is super terrific happy hour, okay? Super terrific, amazing hour. Happy math, happy life. We'll see you next time.